now be channel. Today with this tutorial, if you like, I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful bag. This bag it was required from my customer to make it. He sent me a picture for a, a very famous stylist and then uh, the name is Dolce e Gabbana. So I don't know if you know, but just go on the internet and look for a Dolce Gabbana crochet bag and then you see what a beautiful, beautiful purse they make. So she sent me a picture <clears throat> and she asked me if it, I can uh, do it like that. Of course, you know, um, you have to do it in a different way, but I think it's coming pretty close and then I'm going to put the picture for um, Dolce Cabana bag, which name is Mrs. Sicily. It's an Italian stylist, like I say. And then I tried to do my best to make her happy. She saw it and then she said to me she loved it. So uh, it's now hard to do it. It's very easy, it's a bubble stitch. And then uh, in this tutorial, I show you how uh, to line it, put the canvas inside because they have to be uh, under the, the fabric, you have to put a canvas to make the purse sturdy, sturdy and strong. I'm going to teach you how to attach this one and then in the tutorial I explain to you um, the choice that you have to put the closet. So that's what it looks like. She loves it. So, if you're interested to see this tutorial and then um, have a with me this new adventure, uh, follow me and I'm going to teach you step by step so you're not going to mess it up with everything. And then if you need my support, just leave me a comment in the box below and then I try to explain to you uh, if you, you have any problem to do this purse, okay? So if you have uh, all the supply that you need, let's go start in this new adventure. Thank you for watching. Okay, this is the panel, the panel for my bag. Now, uh, because it's gonna be long, I don't wanna, the, uh, it's gonna be a long tutorial. So I'm gonna tell you right now, what do you need to do? And then uh, I'm going to show you in a little swatch like that so you can have an idea what it's going to look like. So this is my pan panel but I'm not finished yet. So for do this bag, if you want to do it like mine, of course I'm going to use uh, Icy Yarn macrame, macrame Cord in gold color. I love it because it's a 100 gram and then you have a 160 meter so it's pretty good. If you want to make it like mine check the book information and then you go in my uh, um, in my shop and then you can find any color that you like. So for this bag you're gonna need a chain four, multiple four plus three. So I'm gonna do a little swatch right now for show you how to make the bubble stitch, alternate bubble stitch. I hope you can see it. It's very easy to do. It's the only thing is take a, um, a lot of yarn, a lot of macrame cord. So be aware about that. So we're gonna start with slip knot. And then I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, multiple four, plus three. One, two, three, and then plus one for turn. At the fifth row is gonna be just single crochet, but don't take it just one loop take a both loop like that. See? You're gonna have a straight edge if you take a both loop. 
so do it one single crochet in each chain just like that take a ball loop like I say there so it's a better one you do back to um, take a boat loop it's coming nice and straight okay I'm on the end of the last one See how straight they come? Now you make chain one. Pay attention right now. Chain one, turn your work. And then you work three single crochet. So it's uh, one, two, and three. Now I make my bubble stitch in my way, so I show you how. Yarn over, put the hook inside the single crochet, the next single crochet, take the yarn, pull through, close two, a close one. And you have a one double crochet not closed. So we have to do a four. So we have a one again in the same stitch pass two yarn over pass one and you have it again yarn over pass two pass one three we need one more pass two Oops, pass two, pass one. You have a five loop on your hook, close together, pull through, chain one. And then we're gonna do single crochet here, plus two more. One, and two. So we have three single crochet, bubble stitch, three single crochet, and then again another bubble stitch. One, yarn over, it's the hook, pull the yarn, close two, again yarn over, close one. Three, and four. Close, chain one. And then you're gonna start here, single crochet here, one, single crochet in the next one, two, single crochet in the next one, three. We have a four single crochet left. So again, yarn over, insert the hook, close two, close one. Again, close two, close one, close two, close one, two, one. Five loop on your hook, close, chain one, 
every single crochet in the next sing uh, single crochet from the previous rows. One, two, and three. So that's why we have so far. Now, chain one, to new work, and we're going to do all single crochet, but I tell you where you have to put the single crochet when you going to go in the, when you're going to be uh, closer to the bubble, okay? So we're going to start here, one single crochet, one, two, the next one is going to be this one, three, the next single crochet is going to be not here, because this is a part, this stitch here is a part of the bubble. So you have to put the single crochet in the middle. See, do we have a little hole here where we close the bubble? See here, this hole? You put the single crochet here. And then you're going to start one, two, and three. See? One, two, and three. So three single crochet here. One, two, and three. And then again, here, where we close the bubble, we're going to put a single crochet. And then again, single crochet here. One, two, and three. You have to just pay attention in um, when you work here in the bubble because if you work in here, a week, a you working here too, you're gonna make an increase and then it it's gonna come in like all wide and not looking good. So. I finished my three single crochet, so see here, this is the hole where we close the bubble stitch, we're gonna put it here, the single crochet. And then don't look here at all. They look like you have to put a stitch here, but you don't. You're gonna work in the single crochet. So again, one, two, and three. Now we're going to alternate, I mean, whether we have the single crochet, we're going to put the bubble, and whether we have the bubble, we're going to put a single crochet, and then I'll show you how. Chain one, now we need to put a bubble here, okay? So we do chain one, turn your work, one single crochet, and then we do the bubble stitch. So again, yarn over, go inside the the single crochet, pull through, yarn over, put close two, close one. Again, close two, close one. Again, close two, close one. One more. Close two, close one. Five, loop on the hook, close together, chain one and three single crochet. See? One, two, and three. And then we do it again the bubble. Yarn over inside the single the next single crochet. Yarn over put close two close one, close two, close one, close two, close one, close two, close one, full loop on your hook, close together, chain one, and then the next one single crochet. One, two, and 
two and three and then again another bubble close one I mean close two close one another one close two close one two one two one close all together chain one and then single crochet in the next three single crochet one two and three okay again the last one close two close one close two close one close two close one close two and close one five loop on your hook close together chain one a single crochet in the last stitch now chain one turn your work and then again work in the first here in the first single crochet here single crochet and then in the middle and then the three single crochet here one two and three and the middle and then again one oops one two three and the middle of the bubble And then again you see very clear that you have a three single crochet here one two and three that's why you need to pay attention so one two three here in the middle of the bottom bubble and then here don't forget that you have a one single crochet to make it see here this is the last one this one okay single crochet here and then you continue repeat this so if you have to go again for the uh, so one two three four five the sixth row we're gonna be the bubble here so we have to do it chain one to new work three single crochet one two and three like we start let me turn see we start the three single crochet and one bubble and then we start the one single crochet and one bubble now we started again with three single crochet and one bubble so that's that's uh, that's gonna be your panel panel now I'm gonna give you um, in case you're gonna use uh, another kind of cord because you can do it even with yarn but I don't know for the bag I'm, I'm I like to use uh, macrame cord so if you make a uh, 35 35 chain you pants gonna be uh, 23 centimeter okay if you're gonna make a like mine uh, keep your mind if you use something else so you have to um, you know I'm using 3.15 mil millimeter hook so the yarn they have to be uh, work great with uh, 30 50 millimeter actually 
it suggests it here to use a number three but when you do bubble it's better to do a little bit bigger so okay so do your panel I finish my panel and then I'll tell you how long it's gonna be okay I'll see you later I finish in my bag the panel bag and then I'm gonna tell you many rows I make it and then how long it is so from here to here let's go in centimeter it's uh, 48 centimeter and then it's wide 23 centimeter okay now we have to put a canvas here to make a, uh, the bag steady so like I showed you before you have to buy uh, this canvas with the large hole they have two kinds, one is a little and one with a small hole and one with big one, we need one big one and then of course they don't have the, the length that we need it so I cut a little piece more and then I sew it just like that and they have to be perfect, they don't have to go out to the work they have to just be inside like that I'll show you in this way when you cut it this have to be very close because now we want to work inside here so again and then you need I'm using for work the bag the 3.5 millimeter now you need two point millimeter otherwise it doesn't gonna go inside the hole here so slip knot and then I put in my hook and then you're gonna start to work one here and one here okay and make a single crochet Now, it doesn't matter if you don't take all the hole for the canvas. The matter is that you grab every stitch from this side. Okay? So, like so, I make a one here. See, if I go under, I skip a one, but that's fine. And you do single crochet. And then again, under here. And single crochet. Let me come close with the camera so you can you can see better. So this is the stitch. You go inside here and you go to the canvas here. Grab the yarn, pull, oops, take it two. Pull a single crochet. A single crochet okay each stitch available so continue like that and meet you at the angle I'll show you what you have to do when you reach here okay I'm at the corner here another thing that I want to suggest you if you have this kind of uh, paper band binder you can put it here so they keep uh, the canvas uh, don't move it around okay so we are an angle here we're gonna go inside and we're gonna make a one single crochet then go here one single crochet one F double crochet in the same stitch 
don't forget to grab the, the canvas in the back. Oops. I got cut here. Oh, come on. Okay, let's go do it again. Half a double crochet. What's wrong here? And then again, one single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, now two new work. And then here, we have to put single crochet in each single uh, in each row in each uh, uh, row that we make here. So I show you how I make mine. So you grab this one part and then you go in here and then you do a single crochet and then again here you do single crochet. And then again here, you have to do single crochet in each row that you make. It's really hard to do in camera because I can't work very well with the camera in front of me. But this is the idea. In the meantime, when we do that, we make a, um, a border. And the bag is gonna be very, you know, stuff um, res resistant. It's gonna they're not gonna be like mushy or okay. So continuing like that. Don't forget to the angle to make one single crochet here. Half a double crochet, a single crochet in the same stitch in the same corner. So the corner is gonna be very see straight very smooth. Okay, so continue like that. I continue my and then I meet you here. Before I continue to sew this other part, I want to show you something. When you start to touch the canvas, let me go down a little bit. It's too close. When you start to touch the canvas, your crochet work starts to take the same shape of the canvas. So you end up like having something like that and then don't worry about it because it's it you know cut wrong the canvas. It's just the canvas because it's a nice and neat and uh, very precise um, rectangle plus it's hard. It's it, it's fine because when you work on it here it's gonna grab the the work and then you pull it and then it's gonna be very nice. See here? Okay, so if you find something like that, they say, oh my god, I cut too short. It's not, okay? It's a normal to have this uh, part here that you see, okay? I wanna just tell you that before I go ahead, okay? So I'll see you at the angle here. Okay, I finish. Here now, don't close, leave it like that. Cut a little piece yarn like that, pull, and then we're gonna close here. Okay, let me come close. This is the last stitch, right? This is where we start. So, here. This single crochet here, pull your hook inside here in both loop. Go with the under, pull your hook under. Take the yarn that you cut it and pull through. Okay, then go here. See this one? Where did we close? but this side. 
like that. Take the yarn, pull, and then we recreate the chain here. Okay? See? So then we're gonna, um, you know, uh, sew the, the tail inside the canvas. Now, this is a panel, panel. Let me put it down again. This is what it looks like. Okay, now we have to do the side part. And later, I'm gonna explain to you what that means, this part, okay? So, now, I already make a one, one palm, one tie. So we're gonna make it together the second one. So again, you need uh, 350 millimeter hook, and then we're gonna make a slip knot and chain 11. It's a multiple four plus three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus one. First row, one single crochet. Like we did for the back, for the body, the back. there okay last one okay chain one Two new work, three single crochet, one, two, and three, and then a bubble. One, two, It's the same, um, the same work that we did for the body from the back, except that this time we're gonna have a, um, in the first row two bubble, in the in the second row three bubble, and then you know because after it's small pen but side, so continue like that. I'm gonna tell you how many row you need to do and the size. Okay, you have to make 15 rows, okay, and then you need two of this and then I don't know yet if I gonna uh, put um, canvas here, I don't know, we're gonna assemble the back together and we'll see what it look like, okay. So go do yours, I'll do mine, and then I'll see you later. Okay, we finish both sides for the bag. And then I suggest you to cut a little small piece of yarn, just like that. And then we're gonna try to assemble the bag and see what it look like. So because it here we, we have the cut here, so this flexible. So I'm gonna just pretend that this is gonna be the front side. We'll see what happens. So take this one. one. Oh, okay, hold on just a second. Okay, we're gonna do later. So take this one, take the yard, and then let me come close. So you're gonna see what I'm doing. Put it here. 
don't have to be perfect just to try to assemble the bag and uh, see what it look like maybe if I do with a small French, then you want to attach the French to something. Two and what I usually do before I assemble definitely definitely back <laughs> okay so so we attach this part now we have to attach this part the bottom okay so we're gonna grab another one perfect just to have an idea what it's gonna look like if I want to put canvas in the side part too or not depend and then of course when you see in the sofa a comfortable space you're gonna do much faster than me that do it right now seen in this chair with the camera in front of me okay let's see if we can see something okay I'm not gonna put the canvas in this side. I think I don't know. Because if we don't put the canvas, it's gonna be um, open. If I put the canvas, we have to cut the canvas in the top here to make this band. I decided at the end to don't put the canvas on because it's gonna, it's, it was too stiff uh, the side part and then I like it more soft so I just do this I'll show you I'm starting the middle here and then And one, okay. one chain, go back inside the same stitch and do single crochet. And then one single crochet. I think I can show you much better without the canvas now. What do you have to do at the corner? Single crochet in each stitch. Here at the corner, here you put one single crochet 
half a double crochet in the same stitch and then again single crochet in the same stitch because we're going, you want a nice and sharp angle here and then again one single crochet in each row it's easy to see see one here one in the bubble one in here one here it's a very easy to see where you have to put the stitch see you have a little hole here so you see it's very easy so continue to do like that and I'll meet you here and I'll tell you what you have to do next and also I want to show you better how you have to close so you finish here the last single crochet cut the yarn pull and then here this is the uh, the chain that we start we have to go here in the next single crochet here okay pull the hook here take the yarn pull pull this way okay now see you close it here now see this stitch go inside from this way from the back go inside the V here take the yarn and then pull and then we recreated the chain see it's gonna nice and neat and clean and then we so the inside okay so next step I'll show you what you have to do okay we finish the two side and now I'll show you next step so because I'm gonna put this kind of uh, closure here so that's why from the last two rows I do just a single crochet I keep and do the bubble stitch here the bubble stitch here and then I leave a single crochet here now I don't explain to you how to put this one because I don't know if you have it but if you have it and you find it, it's like you have to screw here with a little screw here and then the bottom is going to be like this so this is the top this is the bottom and then you close together like that okay but if you can find this if you find this let me know uh, in the comment in the comment in the comment box if you find it let me know because I'm gonna make a small tutorial just for this part in case you find something like that if you can find something like that you can always put um, the magnetic one that I do with a lot of bag you know the clip the magnetic one and then you you continue to do the, the the panel the body of the bag with the bubble into you reach the end forget about this part and then you attach the 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 magnetic here the bottom I can find it right now where I put it hold on let me let me find it okay so you have this part and the other part so when you attach this one you have to put it in the from the inside it, then you have to put it before you line it okay so for example you put this here so make a small hole here and then you go through here and then this one is gonna come in your body part so sometimes I do I buy a nice button you know jewelry button or any decoration that you want to put it on so you put the magnetic inside here 
and then here to cover the little wing dab it you can put a button here and then you cover everything so this is another simple suggestion if you and then this you can find anywhere Walmart, uh, John Fabric but if you don't have anything close to you you can always buy online that one I buy online um, another thing we have to put a little foot to the bag okay so we're gonna use the same method that we used before so close your bag like that put it the side part or you know just to give an idea whether you have to put it the foot just when you uh, you know protect your bag so you put it like that and then give me an idea to where you have to put this one now this is another thing you cannot find this uh, little foot in the store you have to buy online so I coming up with this idea see this is a, like a decoration that you can put here maybe you give it some glue to attach it or something bigger I don't know uh, or you cannot put nothing I mean you don't have to put the feet actually it's just an idea um, so now next step and then we're gonna assemble it now you need a fabric I chose this one like always you cut it okay you put the fabric here like that put it on and then you cut it two centimeter leave it two centimeter in each part you sew it and then I'll show you how and then we're gonna um, line it even this part okay so I'm lucky because I have the line so I can do it very easy so scissor and then I'm gonna just cut straight here like that I'll give a little space in case it's always nice to have a more than less okay and then we're gonna do the same thing with the side part now Put it on and then at this point you need a pin or you stick and use it this one if you wanna I like use this one put a one here and one here and remember like I tell you all the time they you I mean all the time sorry for the last couple time you have to sew the fabric to the edge here the, the single crochet I'll show you let me go close like that you have to left just this hole see if you can see it see this hole here because we need the one we're gonna sew it so with the needle okay but other than that you have to cover everything everything like that okay so I hope it is plain very good for you and then I'm gonna uh, sew in mine and then I meet you for assembling okay I want to just show you what it looks like so far so I put uh, my clothes here I line it it's what it looks like inside okay so like I say I don't put any fit inside uh, in the bottom of the bag 
So now we're gonna do together the last part here. So let's go put apart this one for now. Okay, you have a the side part, then you're gonna fold a little bit and then you're gonna put just right here. Okay, just like that. And then just put a, this for now, just to keep it. Doesn't gonna move. Okay, then with the thread, the same color. Then I show you how you have to sew this in, so you're not gonna see nothing. Okay, so we're gonna uh, come close. So always I started to put. Uh, see this? This is the chain. You don't have to touch this chain, okay? Because this we're gonna work on it later. So, see this little uh, bumpy here? This one? So that's what I'm gonna start here. Let me put my... And then, then I'll put it inside, so you're not gonna see it. Just like that. And then you do back and forth. This is the stitch that you have to take. I'll show you more close. Let me put inside this tile here. Okay. See this one? This is where you have to put the needle. Here. No here. Let me do it with there. No here. But just below. A little piece of fabric and then we swell like that and then again the next one and then you swell like that they have to be very close to the stitch but you don't have to touch the chain in the top okay so just like that Again, from the cord to the fabric, from the cord to the fabric, very small stitch. Okay. So continue because when all when you come here at the angle, of course you're gonna uh, turn inside. Pay attention to the angle here. Don't suit here, but like I show you here, we need the below the stitch, just like that. Okay, where do you see this little bump? Okay, so so yours. I'm right back. I forgot to tell you that before you close the fabric, we have to put this uh, day ring for the chain, for the end bag. So you just sew inside here. Leave a long tail for sew it on later. And then you do just a back and forth, back and forth. Like so. Sorry, I was out of the camera. Inside here. Do 
like you know a little couple times and once in a while you adjust before you fix everything Everything that you have, that you put in your bag, they have to be before uh, the lining. So all the all this one is gonna be in the back, and and you're not gonna see nothing. It's gonna come in very nice, neat and clean work. Okay, couple more time, just to. Make a secure because here at what we're gonna put the end of. So they got they have to support all the bag. Okay, I'm gonna go here one more time. same thing with this one just to secure everything before we close it with the line with the fabric okay just a couple stitch here and there okay cut it off and then continue it close here see okay I'll see you in a bit okay now it's time to attach the last part so we're gonna go here to the corner here and we start from inside so we're gonna have the this tail inside <coughs> the bag for later and then we're gonna go here and you have to take a boat loop to this from the stitch boat loop and then I'm going to use a double this time double strand and then just for the first stitch I'm going to like to go under again in the same stitch to make a more secure Ooh, I can see it okay let's go do it this way there we go basically I go two time in the same stitch Here and then I pull very tight and now we start so this is the chain from the side here and then you take the next one here from the back and then you pull And 
and then you go in the next chain here, both loop, and you take a ball loop from this side. One and two. And you pull. Okay, and then from here to here. Ball loop and pull. Then again from here to here and pull. From here to here and pull. From here to here and pull. And then you continue like that all around, all around your back. Okay? So finish it with yours, I finish mine and I'll see you later. When you come here at the end, just do the same thing that you that we did in the other side. Go in the same stitch a couple times. So we're gonna make sure that the back stay nice. And then you go inside here. I hope you can see it. You go inside here, pass through, and then again you go inside, and then you can pass through like that. One more time. Find the hole here. And then pass through. Oh, come on, the last stitch. And then you can cut it. And then you're gonna do the same thing for this two tail here. You're gonna do the same thing. Go inside here. And then you can cut it. Same thing with this one. Oh, come on, please. Okay. Go here. We're done. Cut it. Okay. And we finish. This is what it look like. I already attached like I tell you uh, the envelope here. I'm gonna put it right here. This is the closure. How good it is. Now it's empty, but when you fill it up, you're gonna close much better. And then we have it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was a little different, more work. And then, but you know, at the end, there's a lot of satisfaction. It doesn't matter 
how hard you work but when you're done and then you see this beauty I think it's worth it okay so if you like it please give me a like uh, subscribe to my channel so I can make a more video for you and leave a comment below if you have any question uh, if I was not clear in some point please let me know I try to show you better and, and like I say if you find a closure like this let me know and then I show you I make a little video and then I show you what out you have to attach it okay thank you for watching and I'll see you to next video